few weeks ago, we got a very mysterious package in the mail. What confused us when this package came is that it had our tape on it. It had our Samara Table Company tape on it. At first, we thought it was just one of our cutting boards that had gotten returned to sender. But pretty quickly we realized that's not what this was. We did a little digging and we uncovered this on the side of the box. But the box is so lightweight. We sell our scrap in boxes and weigh it out to about 15 pounds. So this wasn't a return from someone who bought boxes scraps. We were really lost. So what is it? Hi, Jenny and Davis. I got a box of scraps back in March. It had some oak scraps from that table you made. I was also happy to get some cutting board pieces. See the oak at warboards.com. Thank you for what you do, David McCabe. That's oh, awesome. It says a gift for you. A gift for you. What could it be? Wow, so this is back in March. Okay. What see? is it? Yep, that's our scrap. Oh! It's even the stripes like the cutting boards. Oh, that's cool. It looks just like a cutting board. That's awesome. Another package. Another one. The mystery continues. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> oh at that. my gosh. Wow. That's amazing! Here, pick it up, speed can see. Guys, look at this! It is That's literally so cool. a tray made out of our cutting board scraps. So it's got like the same pattern, but more of like a checkerboard. That is so cool! And then even epoxy inlaid our little logo. It's perfect! I love this! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, David! This is so cool! And this is so smart. Like, guys, I don't know if you picked up on this, but he. This is like the off cut and he packaged it with that in there to keep it safe. So cool. That was a really smart idea. And we got some crinkle paper appearances. <laughs> nice touch. We love some crinkle paper. <laughs> so it turns out this suspicious package came from one of you guys who bought a box of scraps. Uh, his name is David McCabe. He sent us stickers. He even made a whole YouTube video about it, but yes. he built half a dozen projects from our box of scraps. Yeah, like this isn't it. Like he made even more out of that one box. In his YouTube video, you can see a couple other things that he made. Those are beautiful as well. His video is down below. Please go give it a like. Um, if you do, we want to give you something special as a thank you. Okay. Guys, it's so cool to see something like made out of our scraps. Like somebody made this beautiful tray from scrap wood. This is one of the sweetest gifts we've ever received. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. Literally, I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But what makes this so special is that like what was once our trash, like our scraps is now something that we absolutely treasure. Like that, that's so cool. When you're making stuff like this, personalization goes a long, long way. So we're gonna add these stickers from David to our collection and uh, we need to put up our sticker collection. Yes, we do.
Oh man, it just brings a smile to my face to put all those stickers up finally. So sorry for the delay. Those are all the stickers that I think that we have. If you know you've given us one and it's not up there, please send us an Instagram DM and we'll dig through the box and find it. We probably just forgot during the move, so I'm so sorry. But send us an Instagram DM and we'll throw it up there. Um, if any of you want to be on the wall, send us a sticker. There's a mailing address down in the description box and uh, we will send you a sticker back if you send us one. Since we started our YouTube journey, we have made so many amazing friends. Approximately 113,000 of them. You guys are literally the best. Absolute legends on YouTube and we want to give you something each of you stickers and lots of them we used to only do sticker swaps with people that we met in person um, we just thought that was a cool twist on the whole sticker swap idea but COVID sort of threw a wrench into that and it sort of became a really stupid rule so we're trying to make good on that and anyone that wants a sticker here's what you got to do to get one Go watch and hit the like button on David McCabe's video, video link down below. Then send us an Instagram DM of a good mailing address and we will get a sticker sent out to you. But that's not all. We've actually had another great idea that we wanted to pass on to you guys. So you guys know in our cutting board business that we uh, have a lot of scrap wood, obviously. And uh, we normally sell that scrap wood at a pretty good price to people that don't have access to a hardwood dealer. But we have so many scraps left over from the 2022 holiday season. I got this whole bucket to fill and then every one of those boxes is scrap. And after we saw what David just made with the tray, we got a great idea. We want to see what other creative ideas all of you can come up with with our scrap wood. We know you've left a ton of suggestions down in the comments. We just don't have the time or the bandwidth to chase all those ideas but down. But we would love to see you guys make amazing things out of them because we know you definitely can. So we are starting the first annual Samara Table Company Box O Scrap Challenge. Woo! So here's how it works. This is a competition to see who can make the coolest thing out of our scraps. And the winner will receive a $250 Home Depot or Lowe's gift card. So go to the link in the video description and purchase a box of scraps. We're not trying to make any money off of this, so you'll just have to pay for shipping if you want a box of scrap. And we've only got about 30 boxes worth of scrap, and no one ever participates the first year of these things. So your odds of winning are pretty high if you want to participate. Once your box arrives, open it up and take some pictures. That's going to be your before shot. We're going to be judging it based on creativity of what you have to work with. So save those pictures and get to building. Guys, be creative. There's no limits on what you can make out of these. We just want to see what cool ideas you guys can come up with using our scraps. You can even make a YouTube video if you want to. David's video got 5,000 views before we even saw it. So this could be a great opportunity for you to launch a YouTube channel if that's something you've been wanting to do. We owe the Modern Maker podcast guys a huge thank you because when we did their plywood challenge, that sort of put our YouTube channel on the map when we first started out. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. <laughs> So the three best projects will be featured in an upcoming YouTube video. And the first place winner will get a $250 Home Depot or Lowe's gift card. All right, so here are the rules so we're all on a level playing field. You have to mostly use or at least showcase the scraps from the box of scrap. It's okay if you use screws or, or wood glue or whatever. Just try to make the main focus of the piece the scrap wood. You must submit it by March 1st. March 2nd, it's too late, we won't take it. So submit your pictures or your video to us. We need to see it in our inbox. So send us an email at jenningdavis at gmail.com and we will judge it there. And you do not need to send the finished product to us. You do not need to mail us whatever you build out of these scraps. That was something that was amazing that David did, but not necessary. Just make sure you get your entry in by March 1st. You can keep it, you can give it away, you can sell it. We just want to see your creativity. You do not have to make it for us or send it to us. Be creative. There are no limits. Make whatever you want. And like we said, the three best projects will be featured in an upcoming YouTube video where we'll feature the maker and also the number one winner will get a $250 gift card. We cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. And for everybody else wanting to watch their progress at home, make sure you post project updates and use the hashtag SamaraBOS. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with. May the best project win. And while you guys are working on that, we'll get back to building the best furniture business in the whole world. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.